welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiyama and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be using all of Camille Rose products on my hair today. I am going to show you guys how to get this look and this is my fluffy everyday look. I love my hair stretched. I love my hair not in the wash and go state so I like my hair this way. So if you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching. So we're gonna go ahead and split our hair in two. I normally have clips and stuff, but I'm doing this in my studio. So I'm going to just use a scrunchie. So I've been on my natural hair journey for a few years now. I haven't straightened my hair in probably like two to going on three years. Um, I blow dry it sometimes when I feel like it um or when i'm about to get braids but that's also very rare for me as well so on this channel i want to be able to show you guys how i do my natural hair my hair is growing yeah my hair is down to here oh it's actually longer than i thought <laughs> Ooh. so that's like a quick length check for myself but i love i love my natural hair I love wearing it natural. Um, I like changing it up. I do braids sometimes. I do. I want to straighten my hair, but not anytime soon. Um, I'm gonna go in with. So I didn't even tell you guys about the products. So today I have the green tea and boboa uh, moisture butter, and then I'm gonna go in with the sweet almond jai. Then we have the Curl Maker Marshmallow and Agave Leaf Extract. Alright, so most of you guys know that if you guys know about Camille Rose Natural, then you know it's really bomb. And if you don't, then you're missing out because I love their products. Like, this is the only product that really, really works with my hair. All other products work with my hair really well. I have very thick hair and it's like five different textures in one. It's really like three. It's like 3B, 3C, and 3A. So just take a guess with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this. So this is the sweet almond milk and honey almond jai butter twisting butter. So the difference between this one and the other one, this one is more of a twisting butter. So when you're trying to twist your hair and you know you want to moisturize your hair, you're going to go in with this one. It's a bit thicker and that's what you want to use when you're twisting your hair. But for me, my hair is very thick and I need something to work with it. I'm going to go in with all three of the products. I want some of the thickness. And then I want some of the moisture from this butter. And this one is very thick as well, as you can see. And I love it for that because it gives a very good hold on my hair but moisturizing. And my hair feels very nice afterwards. I didn't realize my hair was that long. I've been wearing it in braids for the last couple of weeks and recently I've just been braiding it and I don't really I don't really look at the length of my hair to be honest because I feel like that just makes it feel like it's going a lot longer in the process but oh I didn't tell you guys so I just put some avocado oil in my hair so I love avocado oil let me not drop this but I love avocado oil because it's very thick as well like my hair is very curly when I leave it in that state, but I don't really like to leave it in that state. Um, so for me, when I use certain oils to seal it, it needs to be a, a thick oil. And I love um, olive oil, avocado oil, Jamaican black castor oil is kind of too thick for me. I use that if I'm like deep conditioning. Also, I like 
grapeseed oil, just all of the oils that are thick. I don't really use coconut oil unless I'm finger detangling my hair before I go into the shower. But if you guys wanna check out my shower routine, um, my wash day routine, I'll put a link in the description box for you guys. And so here we go. Here's what it's looking like so far. When I do my hair like this, I don't like to, I don't like to have it too wet, right? So I don't want my curls to show. I, I just want to make sure that it's moisturized and it has a little bit of the liquid in there, but also it's in a drier state. So I can only do this style when it's about three to four day hair. I'm not going to put the gel in yet, by the way. So now I'm just going to go in again and do the same thing. But yeah, I can only do this hairstyle, which is the way that I like to use it. I'll wear my hair on like three or four day hair. Um, if you watch that video that I posted prior, you will understand why. Because my hair is extremely curly when I wash it. And I love it like that, but I don't like to wear my hair like that every day because I get a lot of single strand knots. Um, it's harder to manage for me. You have to wash it and wash it or keep you know, refreshing your hair. And instead with this one, I just put a little bit of product. Even if I don't want to, I just put some oil. If, my, if I feel like my hair is moisturized already, I'll just put some olive oil and water and braid it up in the evening and just keep it moving because that's how I like it. You know, it's more manageable for me and it's healthier for my hair because I don't want to have any split ends. I don't like to have single strand knots. So the thing that causes single strand knots are when your hair is wrapping around itself. And so because I have very curly hair, when I keep it in that state, it's just going to keep wrapping around itself, which causes even more split ends and making your ends very thin. Who wants that? I don't. So <laughs> I, I want to keep growing the length of my hair. And as you can see, very thick, it's moisturized and coming very long, but it's not hard for me to manage at all. I'm going to show you this side of my hair. Let's go in with this product, the Curl Maker. I have never used this product before, so this is a first time for me, and we're gonna see how this works. The pump is pretty, I can't really show you guys because my hands are slippery, but I'll show you guys how the product is. So it's very thick, as you can see. It smells more floral. I expected it to be more like, smell like the rest of the products, but I'm just gonna put this on the top of my head. I'm not gonna break it through or anything like that because I just wanna get the flyaways, all the edges in the front laid down, and you're gonna see why in a second. I'm gonna use my war brush. I've had this brush for literally years. So I love this brush because the double side gives me everything that I need. And I'm gonna go in with, actually, I'm gonna go in with this brush. Don't mind me, it's dirty. I love this brush. It has the little teeth. And I'm just gonna smoothen it down a bit from here. And then I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm gonna go in with the harder side. So now I'm just gonna do two braids. Well, I'm gonna do one braid on this side and one braid on the other side. So I'm just gonna go in and brush this part with it. Just anything that's not detangled. I'm just gonna try to brush through it and the ends should be moisturized already because I put a lot throughout each part of my hair. So I just rake it through just to make sure that everything got distributed through the rest of my hair. 
Now when we get towards the end, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the jelly towards the end, just so the ends stay put. So that's how I braid my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the other side of my head as well. And you guys keep on watching. One thing I wanna say to you guys, like when you're doing your hair, don't be like me, cause like I wear my rings and everything like that. Um, you don't wanna wear rings or anything that could tug or pull on your hair. Yeah, like I said, don't do like me. I don't like taking my rings off, so that's the only thing. I just try to make sure I'm very careful with my hair and not letting anything pull on it. Um, as you guys can see, I'm very gentle with my hair. I'm not pulling it. I'm not brushing very harshly or anything like that as well. And I'm always like trying to separate the hairs if I have to, just so there's no tangles. So this is how it looks, this is how my braids look, and I like it. I mean, this is how I wear it every night to go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to have big fluffy hair like I showed you guys already. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else similar to this video. I'm trying to like hold my hair because I don't want it going on my clothes, <laughs> but let me know if you guys like these types of videos. I really appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you do, and also like, comment, and subscribe. You guys already know what to do. Please subscribe to my channel, and I really appreciate you guys' support. You guys have a great day.